Happy Friday, guys! Woo! We made it. We made it. All right. I'm Courtney. Hannah is behind there filming. Uh, we are the Purple Painted Lady, and as promised, we're back with another Facebook Live with you guys. Um, I'm actually holding a board that shows exactly what we're going to do today. We actually did this in a previous Facebook Live. We're going to show you guys the difference between using Annie's uh, chalk paint dark and black wax over straight paint versus over paint with clear wax applied first. So, we have a lot of questions about this. A lot of people ask us, hey, can I just apply the black wax or the dark wax directly over the chalk paint? And absolutely you can. You're just going to get a different result. And it kind of depends on the functionality of the piece and the look you're trying to go for. So, uh, for example, if I am painting a dresser for, I don't know, my niece who is five, I would want to put clear wax on that first for additional protection um, and then just in case I need to do anything with it in the future that requires me to remove wax. Uh, another great function of putting wax on first, clear wax um, in specific, is if you're not sure you want to do the dark wax look but you think you want to, apply clear wax first. Clear wax is going to seal in that porous chalk paint. That way when you apply the dark wax over top of it, if you don't like it, you can actually take it off. And we'll show you that later on in um, the live. So in front of me, hello gentlemen, come on in, come on in. We have a cabinet door that I painted in pure chalk paint, which is a stark white paper color. It's absolutely white. We actually had a customer of ours named Alyssa. Um, she did her kitchen cabinets in pure white and clear wax and they look amazing. She has an amazing style to her kitchen. We absolutely love it. Um, you can actually check it out. We actually did a post about it I think a couple days ago um, and you can check it out on our on our uh, Facebook page. Her business name is also Little Moon Clothing. She makes little clothes for um, little kiddos. So if you want to check her out, do that. You can actually see her kitchen as well, which is super awesome. Um, so we just have a cabinet door painted in two coats of paint. I'm going to go ahead and clear wax only half of it. That way you guys can actually see the contrast between applying it with clear wax and without. So I have my clear wax here. I opted to do this in front of you guys instead of doing it beforehand because I think it's important, again, just to show you guys how easy it is to wax. Um, I find it actually incredibly easy. We have customers all the time that they think it's difficult or they are saying that their hands are hurting or wrists are bothering them. And that just means you're doing too much work. The waxing, it should be pretty relaxing. You shouldn't be stressing out too much. Um, you shouldn't really be stressing out at all. It's a really easy process. So I've scooped out some of the clear wax onto a paper plate because for some colors, if you have a highly pigmented color like um, Emperor Silk or Florence, I'm looking around to see if we have anything that's highly pigmented. We don't. But if you have anything that's super bright, like Florence, Emperor Silk, Graphite sometimes does this. Um, when you go to wax it, sometimes you actually pick up the pigment on your wax brush, and then if you go back into your wax can to grab more wax, you've just put more of that tint and pigment into your wax. So if you go on to another project and you're doing something like a pure white cabinet door, you might actually pick up some of that pigment and transfer that. So for that reason, we always recommend taking your wax and putting it on a paper plate. Always start with a little less than you actually think you might need. I'm gonna go ahead and head in with my wax brush. I'm just rubbing that wax pretty thoroughly into the brush. Um, and I actually don't pick up too much. I don't know if you can see that. That's the exact amount of wax I'm going to use. I use a thin coat of wax so I find it easier to work with. And I think I actually wax better that way. So I'm going to wax this half of the cabinet door with clear wax, okay? I did not use tape, so I apologize. It might be a little bit less of a crisp finish than I was looking for, but... Can I ask a question? You don't need to video me. Hello. Does yeah. it matter? How long after you do clear wax before you put dark on? You might want to repeat my question too. <laughs> yeah. So Trish is asking, um, does it matter how long I wait after doing clear wax that I go ahead and apply dark or black wax? No. 
typically we do recommend allowing your wax coats to sit for 20 minutes just to rest but after doing clear wax if you're gonna go and do dark wax I typically do it straight after doing clear wax I don't see any difference in waiting so most people it. yeah most people prefer to go straight in with that tinted wax instead of waiting that 20 minutes all right so I'm gonna use my Blue Scott shop towel now to remove. These are lint-free paper towels. They're super durable, I love them. I fold mine into quarters, that way as I'm working, if I need a clean edge, I just flip the towel over. Some people like to ball it up, some people like to use it flat out. It's kind of up to you. Now I waxed in the direction that I painted so I can make sure I get a thorough coat on there. And I'm just gonna wipe off very gently just like that. I'm using the same pressure I would use to apply lotion. I am not pressing very hard on here. The excess wax will come off no matter how hard you press. So make it easy on yourself and just go gentle. So Joe is making sure you still would want to remove your clear wax before putting on your darker black wax. That's correct, yes. Remove your clear wax before you apply the dark or black, um, even white. Just, it makes it so much easier to sort of move that dark and black wax anyway. That way you don't have a whole bunch of extra wax on there. And it makes it easier to actually push the dark and black into crevices if you want them there. Okay, so that is all done. And I know that I've waxed and removed enough wax when the back of my hand glides over the surface really smooth. If I feel it catching here and there, or I feel it sticky or tacky, I have too much wax on there. I'm just going to take my rag and continue wiping a little bit until it's nice and solid. Okay, I'm going to move this out of the way. So now we're going to go in. Oh, thank you. George has been gracious enough to bring me more wax brushes. I like those wax brushes. What are they? These are the Annie's. <laughs> These are the Annie Sloan small wax brushes. These are my favorite favorite wax brushes. This is like the Cadillac of waxing brushes. She also has a large, which has a larger handle and a larger bristle tip. I prefer the small. Um, these we sell online um, and your local retailer should have them as well. So if you have um, a local stockist, go visit them and ask them your questions or ask them about the products they love. They're here to help you out too. Okay. I'm going to go in with the dark wax. The dark wax is a brown tinted wax. It's great for making something look antiqued. I know you look into the canister and it looks <laughs> scary. It looks black. Um, it does not look like a fun thing to work with, but believe it or not, these this is one of my favorite waxes to work with. I absolutely love this wax. So I'm only going to take it a little bit at a time because I really don't want to waste this and I don't want to have to put it back into the container. That can also cause a transference that I don't want to happen. So leave that there. Okay, moment of truth. We're going to go in and apply dark wax on the side that I applied the clear wax first on. That way you guys can see how it glides on, how I can manipulate it, and I'll even show you that if I don't like it, I can actually take it off. Here we go. With dark wax, I'm gonna be a little bit more liberal with what, how much I get on my brush, just because I have these grooves in, these, in this cabinet door and I really wanna accentuate them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my wax brush and I'm just gonna push right into those grooves. There are also different ways to apply dark wax. You don't have to use the all over technique that I'm using right now. Some people will opt just to push it into the crevices and corners. <laughs> I'm only gonna apply it over the side with the clear wax, right? <laughs> and then I'll, I'll show you a little bit. Let's do this. Okay, Hannah is wanting to see the full effect. So we're gonna go and carry the dark wax over onto the side that has no clear wax. This is straight, pure chalk paint. And we're gonna apply the dark wax straight over that and see how well it turns out. So to me, it already seems like you can tell it's heavier on that side. 100%, yes already a lot heavier. You can actually see right now, you yeah, can see the line where I applied clear wax. Mm -hmm. 
So if that doesn't help you see that, I don't know what will really do. Okay, using my Scott Shop towel again, I'm just gonna wipe across and we're gonna see how much is left behind. <laughs> I always like that review. <laughs> So you can already tell the side that I did apply clear wax versus the side that I didn't. Obviously over here it's a lot darker and over here I'm actually able to wipe off a lot more. I'm going to leave it in the crevices just because I like it in there. But... Let's remove all of this and then I can show you guys how to remove with some clear wax. So for me, I usually like to describe going straight to dark wax. It's almost like you're staining the paint in a way. Yes, yeah, because the paint is porous. It's going to soak up whatever you give it. So, um, yeah, Hannah's right. If you don't have a top coat on there, it's almost like staining the paint. What's up? Can you do me a favor? Mm -hmm. Can you take some clear wax on this rag and then sh go back over the dark? That's what I was just about to do. Oh, you go. <laughs> It was like mental telepathy, or just <laughs> mental for me. Just right um, there. But then that way we can see how it looks on both sides. Yeah. Cool. Obviously leave it heavy in the corners, in the crevices. Yes. Up there. Okay. So we're just taking a little bit of clear wax on our rag, and we're going to wipe it over the uh, flatter surfaces to see if we can remove some dark wax. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it wiggling. You can also do this with mineral spirits, so if you didn't like that dark wax, you could take some odorless mineral spirits on a rag and wipe it over the surface, and that will also remove it. I just prefer using the clear wax. I think it just, I don't know, I like the feeling of it better. Plus, it doesn't have as much of a smell as mineral spirits has. Ooh, it's windy here. It's a little crazy. So there you can see I've just removed actually quite a bit of the dark wax right there. You can actually compare it to oh, the yeah. side rails. Yeah. Can I play a little bit more with that yeah, and you yeah, do that? It. Yeah, go for it. You can still grab your... So if somebody doesn't like the dark wax really being that heavy, you can come back absolutely with your clear and just go over it and you can just kind of manipulate it some. Mm -hmm. And what's the, the beauty with the chalk paint is it leaves those sort of little peaks and valleys of the brush strokes. And that's where the dark wax gets left behind. So it gives it a lot of character. So. How's that working for you on that side, Courtney? You know, that's the side, there was no clear wax yeah. space, right? Yep. I'm still able to manipulate a little bit, just not as much on the other, as I am on the other side. But it still looks good to me. I don't know, I like heavy dark wax. You do or you don't? I'm a heavy dark wax person, I love it. I'm not. It depends on the color. <laughs> But that's what makes the world grow, and that's what makes this product so awesome because you can get all of these different results and make yeah. people happy. And you, d we're giving you some guidelines, but at the end of the day, this is for you to play with and enjoy. And I if know. you create a piece play doing around. something totally different, who cares? As long as you like it, it could just show how uneven our floor is in this little I know. space. Well, anyways, hopefully that gives people an idea of how that, yeah, how that looks. Do people like it? Yeah. Which side do you like? <laughs> which side? This is actually your side without the clear wax. Um, it, it's it's very pretty, but it's almost like using French linen with dark wax over, yeah. it, or, or like a cocoa color. Yeah. Right. Yes. Because it really does sort of penetrate and stain the. The white. Really and this was the pure sense. white. This is the global. I like to refer to global meaning it's the paint that's in the leader. Mm -hmm. Pure white that mm -hmm. you're using. I like this. And you know what's really amazing? The uh, old white that used to be packaged in a quart, in the quart container, the dark wax with the clear wax base over pure white, that looks like old white as a base. It does. It, does. it looks like the old white quart. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, a lot of people like both sides. Deanna thinks that the darker side seems a little bit more aged. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sort of an antique look. It's it's definitely, more, yeah. It's more gonna, masculine, too. Yeah, yes. And it's going to accentuate more of the brush strokes, more of the mm -hmm. crevices that we have. We actually, we painted this cabinet pretty quick for this Facebook Live. We ended up um, 
blow drying it to make sure it was dry in time. We actually have some cracking down here that it's picking up on. Oh, I like it. I love it. That's also my poor paint job, <laughs> to be honest with you. You know what I love? I love this idea for an entertainment center. If you have a traditional decorated house, mm -hmm. I think this gives some character, but yet not, instead of having something too white yeah. and stark. So yeah. you can definitely see there where you went back and were able to lift yes. up some of that. This it's little kind of stops here. there. Yeah. Yeah. 100 yeah. percent. So we can do the same thing. Do we want to see black wax as well? Well, why don't we talk about something really quick? So yeah. this whole process is great for furniture. We were talking about dressers. Why don't you address if somebody wanted to do this to a kitchen table? So we had mm -hmm. someone ask, um, it's Sally, and she's like, if I want to do this to a kitchen table, can I put a polyurethane over this? Why don't you address that first regarding poly, yep. shellac, lacquer, all the good, all yes. those. Yes. So First of all, you cannot apply a polyurethane over wax. The only top coat that we have found that can go over wax is called Clear Top Coat Sealer from Artisan Enhancements. And even then, your wax needs to be completely cured for a minimum of 30 days. Uh, you also have to take into account if you do dark wax and you want to do the Clear Top Coat Sealer over it, depending on how heavy you left it in the grooves, you might need to leave it longer to cure. Um, you can definitely not put it over uncured wax. Yeah, so polyurethane, lacquer, mm -hmm. shellac, varnish, yep. polyacrylic, none of those are going to work over none of those will wax. None work over wax. It will eventually fail, and what I mean by that is they will peel off. It, it may not happen will. right away, but mm -hmm. it will happen. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, Sally, if you have a question on what you should do, call us and talk with Courtney. Yes. Mm -hmm. After this video. After this video, yes. <laughs> Don't call right now. You could try, but I won't be there. Um, yes, and if you're doing a dining room table and you want to go straight to a polyurethane, like a general finishes top coat, instead of using the wax, we actually did a Facebook Live using the color on floor as a wash to create a similar effect. Even then, you can also use, in the general finishes product line, they have glazes. And we have found that the Van Dyke Brown glaze is actually pretty darn close. To the dark wax so all you would do with that is you would paint your table with the chalk paint by Annie Sloan whichever color you want to do and then you would actually seal it with the top coat of your choice so hopefully general finishes um, probably not in our enhancements if you're gonna use a glaze I would use a general finishes seal it first then go in with the glaze if you're looking for something similar to this Van Dyke Brown is your pal go ahead and apply that glaze once that's all said and done, you can seal it again, doing what we call a sealer sandwich, to so sandwich in that glaze, and then you're done. And then that table is very durable to be scrubbed over and over and over again. And we're not saying the wax isn't durable, but the dark wax will eventually kind of fade a little bit if you're scrubbing it all the time. Um, and you don't want to have to reapply and reapply and reapply. So glaze is your friend for a dining room table. So do we have any questions about the dark wax? Not so much. Okay, because I'm also going to show you guys with the black wax, because that's also kind of an interesting mm -hmm. finish that we have going on. Even on a kitchen table, I love the wax. I would just Absolutely. say to anyone that comes to my house to eat dinner, you have to use a placemat. Use a placemat. <laughs> Do not just put hot plates on there. Um, yeah. I just like there. the idea of being able to go back with clear wax and clean my table yes. versus yep. if my polyurethane doesn't work out or chips or something I have to repaint, retop coat. 100%. My dining room table at home is painted actually in pure um, and we did clear wax over top of it and my brother when he still lived there was into airsoft. Chris. Chris. <laughs> um, and what he would do oftentimes is actually clean or play with the airsoft guns on the dining room table, which is pure white chalk paint. And he would get black like <laughs> globs of something all over it. And we would always take clear wax back over it um, and make sure it was all clean and all that jazz. We all can, you can also use a magic eraser. We did that for a while too. So both work. All right, same thing with this cabinet door. I'm gonna take some clear wax on my, or on my brush. Pass that up so I don't 
Okay. Here we go. This cabinet door has a little bit less of a texture to it. The other one had pretty ornate pattern. This is actually fairly modern, um, but you're still going to be able to see quite a bit of difference. Do we have preferences out there between the dark chalk paint wax and the black? Or are you guys indifferent? What have you guys used before? Maybe we should have them post pictures of like what they've done with dark or black wax beneath the legs. Yeah. Do that. I would love to see them. I absolutely love the tinted waxes, so I love seeing customers using them and loving them. I will say that black wax, so people know the color graphite is a dark slate color. It's a, kind of a warmer gray. Um, in the leader, it is more close to a true black color, um, but it's still not quite there. And I have found, as I was doing sample boards for the shop, using the black wax over the graphite, if you use clear wax first, it kind of gives you these nice highs and lows on the um, in the crevices and on the flatter portions but if you want to use black wax directly over graphite it does a great job at unifying the color as a whole and actually darkening it entirely which is great if you're looking for a more of a black color a straight black color the wind so, is going to blow us away <laughs> let's talk more about the highs and lows on the graphite mm -hmm. um, some people will go back and buff to try and make a little bit more even. If you are buffing, how long should you wait? So if you want to buff, um, especially with graphite, to make the sheen a bit more even, you should wait 24 to 48 hours after waxing. Just allow the wax to settle um, before you go in with a buffing brush, just to make sure you're not removing it, that you're just buffing the surface. Okay. Are we ready to see this? And the black looks very scary as The well. black is scary. The only one that's not scary is white, and that's because it looks like frosting. Let's see. It, it looks like frosting. Okay, get some black wax on here. I'm being pretty liberal with my application. I'm going to go straight across the bottom so that you guys can see the difference. Again, this is black wax on pure chalk paint by Annie Sloan. Give it in those crevices there. You can see that. <laughs> and again, you can already start you can to see that. Already line. see the separation. <laughs> so for those of you who may have just joined us, we only have this the cabinet door is painted in pure chalk paint by Annie Sloan. On this side over here, we applied a coat of clear wax beforehand, and then this side it's just straight paint. So now we're gonna take the Scott Shop towel. And wipe to remove. There's that line. <laughs> the tall tail line. This is a great masculine finish. I love it. So if you're looking for more of a masculine um, finish for a piece or you're, you're painting something and you don't want it to look antique as you want it to look more of like a masculine feel to it. This is actually the black wax. This is a great way to go. I think dark wax is antique, and I like to refer to black wax as more of a vintage. Yeah, that's a good, I like that. I like that. Thank you. So you can see the darkness. I actually, I still like the side. Mm -hmm. I still love this side. Just like with the other cabinet door, we're also going to show you how to remove some of this. So you just take some clear wax on a rag, and I'm just going to go right down the center of the rail. You can already see it kind of manipulating the wax. Okay. And that's how you lighten that right there. And even on the side that doesn't have clear wax, you did it did lighten just a little bit and it stuck into those low points, which is great. So there's the black wax. Do we have any questions so far? So Paula seems to struggle um, when she does do a layer of clear wax on large flat areas mm. to get the dark or the black wax even. Okay, so here's my tip for that. For larger surfaces, I either prefer to work in smaller sections. 
So if this was like a large tabletop, I would actually work in smaller sections so that I can wipe completely across the top. Or what you can do is you can create a glaze with your wax. So either taking the dark or the black out onto a plate or into a cup, bowl, whatever you have, taking a little bit of mineral spirits and adding that just a little bit to the wax. That thins it a little bit, which makes it easier to manipulate. Um, so and next week we'll be doing a video. And on next that. week, <laughs> February 15th, you can actually tune in to watch us create a glaze with both the dark and the black. Maybe we'll do white too, just to see what it does. I don't know. We'll figure that out. Um, but we'll cre create glazes with both of these so you can actually see that. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more about how to apply a glaze and all that jazz. But for right now, if you're working on a project right now, um, I would recommend just using a little bit of mineral spirits with your wax to thin it out and make it a little bit easier to manipulate. That way you can actually um, smooth it out. If you've already applied that wax and it still looks kind of wonky, either you can take some more clear wax and just lightly apply it over it, or you can actually take some mineral spirits on a rag and just very lightly wipe down on the top and that'll unify the wax a bit better too. Okay? So that was super simple. Um, so if you're doing cabinets or anything where you're doing clear wax and the black or the dark wax, how do you clean that? So here's what we say. Um, if you have something like a Sharpie was taken across the front of a drawer or a door front, what you can do is you can actually take clear wax on a rag, rub it over the Sharpie or whatever mark is on there, and the wax actually has a renewable property in it which allows it to rejuvenate itself. So as you rub that clear wax over that Sharpie, that marker, whatever it is, it's going to renew the clear wax layer that's underneath it and it's actually going to lift that stain off, which is super cool. Now, if you did it your piece with like the black or the dark wax that is going to mean that you're going to have to apply clear wax over the entire surface and then probably reapply the black or dark wax so you can get the same effect so a little bit bummer there but you'll still get a perfect result as for everyday cleaning as we're talking about with like the table the cabinets whatever you have as long as you use something that's non-degreasing you won't have a single problem with cleaning your cabinets. I often use a magic eraser. That's like my favorite thing to use right now with cleaning. You can also use um, any soap that doesn't have a degreasing aspect to it. Um, there's a soap in Wegmans called Method. Uh, Method. Method soap from Wegmans is great. It doesn't have any degreaser in it, so you can use that. Um, we already talked about the next Facebook Live, which is February 15th. You can join us in to make glazes with both of the chalk paint waxes by Annie Sloan, the dark and the black. Um, the color is to be decided. I'm not sure what I'm going to do it over yet, but we'll find out. Oh, we do have, uh, we're going to do a Facebook Live on Tuesday, February 12th regarding some of the global alignment changes that are happening, some of the drifting in the colors, just so you guys are aware of how the colors might be altering just a little bit. Uh, we want to compare those just so you guys have full spectrum of what's going on. Also, just if I can, yeah. um, I'll get into it if you want. Um, anyone who is coming to our stores, or if you don't have anyone local, because if you have a local stockist, go see them, go see them, make them your best friend. Go see the colors in person. Obviously, we wish that for everybody. But if you don't have somebody nearby, um, use us as a reference. But the one thing I will say is if you're trying to color match a piece from a project you've done in the past, maybe before all of this global alignment started, or um, you went somewhere and somebody had a piece painted or you saw a piece on Pinterest, like an inspiration piece, you might want to give us a call and just make sure and ask any questions you have regarding the color because we want you to be happy. We yeah. don't want you to order, for example, like country gray has changed just a little. It's more, it's definitely warmer. It's definitely even kind of, I don't want to say, I don't, it's not, to me country gray used to have a little bit of a green to it. And I don't think it has that anymore. Mm -hmm. So there are some little subtle differences. Um, I think most people are excited about them but we want to make sure you're aware because we want you to be happy. Yes. So that's what you're going to do on Tuesday? Yes. You're we'll, thinking we'll, we'll just do a live on Tuesday. 
Yeah, and we'll just do sort of like a, a medley of colors. So if you're thinking yeah. about a future project and um, you have experience working with the chalk paint, especially the paint that was in the quartz, leave us a note here or leave a comment underneath mm -hmm. the Facebook event that mm -hmm. you created, Courtney created. She be Courtney's awesome. She'll mix colors for you, yeah, you know, 100%. so don't be shy. We're here to help you. That's the biggest thing, so. If you like these Facebook lives, oh, do we have a question? Okay, good. If you like, no, <laughs> if you like these Facebook lives and you want to make sure you're always here on time to watch them, we actually have this nice handy trick for you. We have an automated text system which will alert you about our Facebook lives ten minutes before they happen. All you have to do is text the word chalk paint to the number seven four one two one. If you have a smartphone, it's going to try and autocorrect chalk paint to two words. You just want to make sure that it's one, okay? Um, you will get a text that lets you know, hey, you've been put into the text alert system, and if you want to stop at any time, you just reply stop, and it'll opt out for you, okay? I have an idea, too. Mm -hmm. So, and then you can ask any questions you have. So yeah. next Tuesday is the day before my birthday. Yeah. <laughs> so I think we should have a birthday party <laughs> for me. All right, I mean, you might as well celebrate your age, right? I know. And um, I tell you what, when we send out that text message, mm -hmm. so people probably are going to want to do this. When we send out this text message, I think we should do a giveaway, a free gift for um, 10 people. 10 people. Woo. Yeah, we'll do a gift for 10 people. And when we send that text message out 10 minutes prior to the Facebook Live, yep. we will give you something to either write about. Mm -hmm. It's going to be sort of... I don't know what's the word I'm looking for kind of vague in vague. general yeah that's right and so then you can respond and those of you who are part of our text messaging service are obviously going to be you know have a little extra edge a little extra and you know if there's only like 60 people tuning in that's not bad odds. I know that's good that's pretty good yeah you just have to live in the continental US yes. that's the only stipulation yeah. um, I saw some questions popping up was there yeah. anything else you just want to uh, recap so we're gonna talk about the glaze a lot next week. Mm -hmm. um, Somebody wanted to yep, see. Yep, one of the biggest questions was just wanting to see the all of those together, maybe. Yeah, the finished yep. products. So, so you have finished. this cabinet. Both of these are painted in the color pure chalk paint by Annie Sloan, and then on these halves of them, we applied clear wax over the paint before we applied the dark or the black. On the other half, we did not apply the clear wax first. We just simply went straight in with the black and the um, dark, okay? So you have a bit of a darker effect versus lighter effect. If you're looking to kind of play around with this but not sure you want to commit, you should probably do clear wax first. If you were like, I am all for this, go for it. Absolutely. So if you're doing a glaze or even if you're just using dark or black wax, are you then going to put clear wax back over the top to protect it? No. So after you do any of the tinted waxes um, from Annie Sloan, whether the black, the dark, or the white, we do not recommend putting clear wax back over it. Reason being, as we showed a little bit um, in this live, you will actually begin to remove that wax. So it's really so, an unless. Unless yes. you would like. Unless you want to remove it, you can apply clear wax over there. But if you don't want to remove it, you like how, how it is, go ahead and leave it. It is durable just as is, um, and you will have no issues with with that aspect of it. But if you like this look, yeah. then absolutely put another layer of clear on. You don't need to do clear, tinted, clear. No, no. You yeah. don't need, but I often would because I prefer the aesthetic prefer, of that. Yes. But if you're Courtney, you might not. I'll get straight in. <laughs> One last Jumping. question. Yeah. In these areas, in the grooves, is it going to stay thick and clumpy and tacky like that forever? It's, it's, I mean, if I want to remove it, I can absolutely do so. Um, it's going to take a couple it. weeks to set up. Yeah, yeah, it'll just take a little longer to yeah. cure. It, yeah, it'll definitely get hard and it'll yeah. cure, but it's, it is going to take a little longer to set up just in those crevices. But in general, like if I could have done a, a buffet or a dresser today, put it in the hallway and had a party, do you know what I mean? Like it's not going to be a big deal. Yep. I just don't want somebody, you know, really rubbing up against this with <laughs> yeah. white jeans just because of that. But if this was a chair, I'd be like, I would want you to set it aside for yeah. a while. 
Let it cure. Really. Absolutely. But and I and it's something like this, you are totally fine. Yeah, one hundred percent. Anything right. else? Yeah. I think that's it. All right. Well, we will see you guys on Tuesday for a Facebook Live. And if you're not able to join us on Tuesday, we'll see you next Friday. Have a great day, guys.